right. Once again, uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I probably will need to say hi to those who are online. Hello, welcome back. Right, this is the um, the third open house that Training Vision has for the year of 2021. Uh, of course, uh, those who stay with us since January, February, and this is the third sessions that uh, we get together uh, to learn uh, the lifelong learning journey, uh, getting new skills and new knowledge. Without further ado, uh, let me introduce myself. Right, this is me. Uh, of course, looks more slimmer. <laughs> right. Well, uh, during the lockdowns, I think all of us enjoy very much cooking at home. So put on weight. So I'm trying as much as possible to go back to where I am uh, in 2019. Uh, my name is Kelvin Wu, by the way. I'm from the higher education team for Training Visions. Uh, private education has not been new to me. I have been in this journey for the last uh, 13 years. Prior to that, I was in FMB as well, seven years. So in total, I have 20 years of my uh, career journey. Uh, fortunate enough to meet every different individual across the life, learn a lot, uh, building a lot of friendship, relationship. And that's the gist of the lifelong learning all about. Lifelong learning is not so much about learning as skills and knowledge, but it's the get together. But while you are in class, it's not so much of just uh, learning the skills and knowledge, but also building friendship along the way. And that helped, I believe, it will help to build uh, uh, our journey uh, across, right, uh, from, from where we are at the very beginning. Right, that's uh, Training Vision Institute, right? As usual, I would like to also share with you uh, our visions, our missions, and, and value, right, being an institution in Singapore. Our vision here is to be lead, the leaders in humans and organizational development. Our founder, David Kui, when he founded Training Vision 30 years ago, so he has a strong belief that um, uh, hu every human uh, has their own potential, right? We need to have a platform for the human to be able to maximize their potential. Uh, of course, there are different uh, a, a scenario or even a, uh, skills and knowledge that have been applied into the platform for you to kind of learn and grow. Uh, we want to be in the leaders in that sector so that we help uh, humans to, to develop, to organize themselves. So how do we do that? We put them into action plan. So that's our missions, right? We wanted to maximize the potential of every individual of you. So by doing that, we offer a platform for applied knowledge. So meaning to say when you're here, you are mostly in an action learning mode. So you learn the knowledge and you apply it. And we also have professionals from different angles of sectors joining us, be a trainer, training you, learning the best practices happening in the industries. And of course, along the way, that's how innovating, uh, innovate your mindset so that you can create a new journey altogether. These are the values, right? The values that we set across to help uh, to bring tr training vision to the next level. So in a nutshell, uh, to live, to learn, and to make a difference is the tagline that we have carried across in all our publications. Even this afternoon here, I also as much as wish to share with you, this is the absolute tagline if you become a member of Training Vision families, right? To live, to learn, and to make a difference. I share with you my work journey, right? 20 years, 7 years in f and uh, 13 years in private education. So I run all across a different uh, uh, situation, every encounter. So it's very much about making myself to go continue living. So I learn, learn not so much of just in the classroom, learning itself, learning from each and every one of you and to make myself different from one year to another. So by doing that, uh, we partner with governments, right? We partner with government. We, we can't do it alone, right? Even TVI, we have five campuses. For those who have been with our center, join our training previously, you know that we have many centers across Singapore, but we can't do it alone. So we partner with governments. So we are the approved training organization with uh, Skill Future Singapore. We also partner with university. We know that our resources are very limited. So we also want to partner with university to bring in the resources, the value, uh, to join force with us to create a platform for lifelong learning acquisition for our learners. Why Training Vision Institute? Some of you could have learned about our brand. Our brand is not new to Singapore. We have been 30 years of establishment in education and training Singapore and Asia, right? We are a approved training organization for Skill Future Singapore that we are able to offer WSQ courses. So when you hear this meaning to say uh, courses offered by Training Visions, we have SSG subsidies, 
There are funding for your courses. You can use your SkillFuture credit. Young Singaporeans who are joining us this afternoon who wish to sign up our program, you can also use your post-secondary education account right, to pay the unfunded portions. Some good news for you all. We are also at EduTrust Higher Education Institute. We are four-year uh, EduTrust uh, Private Education Institute uh, uh, by uh, Committee of Private Education, CPE, right? so that we are able to offer our program beyond Singapore. To date, we have trained 100,000 learners and the numbers are counting on. Thank you very much once again, ladies and gentlemen. Without you, we won't be able to uh, uh, reach the milestone of 100,000 uh, learners to date. Of course, uh, when we set up our company, uh, our training center, we also have received support from our corporate SME and also MNC. So today, we have 700 MNC and SME have trusted TVI to be the training partner, training their workforce and their leadership uh, team. So five training campuses, I will elaborate a little, bo little bit more in my next slide. Uh, where are the location of those uh, center? 100 of our trainers certified uh, to train WSQ courses. We also partner with six universities and institution of excellence for education journey for our learners. What makes TVI different with the rest? I'm sure you are, we are not the only one, right? We are, there are many, many uh, private schools out there, uh, institute of higher learning or even the government school. What makes us different from the rest? Right? We emphasize on small cohort learning. Our class ratio is one trainer to 25. This enable our trainer be able to handhold you along your learning journey. And we emphasize a lot on applied learning, action learning, right? What you learn today is what you can apply tomorrow when you go back to workplace, right? What you learn with our trainer today about social media marketing, you can even go back this evening and start attempting to create your own social media, right? And start enjoying the value out of your learning so that action learning, right? Our classes are taught and assessed by combination of classroom participations, right? Blended learning. Blended means we have e-learning together with face-to-face -face and project assignments, assessment. You realize that there's no examinations in our learning, right? That is called action learning. Action learning don't require you to have three hour long or five hour long of a final examination. It's all about today you learn, tomorrow we assess your competency and you pass. Right? Our classes are in that. Classroom participation is very important. You need to come to class, you need to work peer with peer and together with the trainer. That's where you are able to pass the certain competency that you learn with that modules. Our classes offer in contextualizing with real worlds and practical components. Why we say that? Because we bring in the professional from the digital marketing field, cybersecurity field, and business management skill uh, field to come and train you. We, they come with vast experience, right? They have made a lot of mistakes in the past. They are here to demonstrate to you what went wrong in the past and what can you do now and create from good to great, right? That's what I mean. We are the only institute that offer modular and stackable pathway for WSQ courses to higher learning and executive education. What does that mean? Meaning to say that every WSQ courses modular that you learn, you can actually stack up and earn a diploma, advanced diploma, and all this diploma, advanced diploma, you can also have credit exemption if you have planned to take a first degree in life. That is what I mean by modular and stackable pathway for higher learning and executive education. By doing that, we partner with renowned university and institution to make that happen. So you, your journey don't stop with just diploma today. Your journey should be a degree, postgraduate degree, or even a doctorate degree offer moving forward. Right? Other than just looking after the training and development space of you, we also take care of your career. Many of you will say, I'm here. I sign up the courses, I want to advance my career, I want to uh, enhance my career journey. Training Vision, we also have a subsidiary called Fish for Talent. I will share more in my next slide. Uh, Fish for Talent offer career coaching and development services right, to our learner and support our learner for career placement or even career success. Our global uh, academic partnership, right? we are not alone. But like I said, we can't do it with ourselves. 
we need to partner. We need to create strategic partner with the overseas strength. So these are the university and institution of education excellence that we have brought across and partner with us, such as Boston University, for those who want to do a practice master with TVI and get your master's uh, degree from Boston U. Uh, we are the partner for them. Uh, Digital Marketing Institute, I'll elaborate a little bit more because today is about uh, digital marketing, social media marketing. So we partner with DMI and, and so on and so forth. The brand that have trusted TVI, all the MNC and uh, SME companies, small and medium enterprise, uh, multinational is, uh, uh, company, uh, they partner with us, right? They partner with us uh, over the years in training their employees, training their employee for business excellence, leadership building, and productivities. Our campus across Singapore, you're right, sitting in our newest campus at Orchard Road, we moved from Baalaba, Lifelong Learning Institute, uh, before COVID. We moved into the newest campus here. So now you are at uh, Orchards, our city communes campus. We also have our HQ base in the West, our HQ base in Gems Tower, level 8, uh, 70,000 square feet, office space, and also our, our campus space. So we do have three other campuses across, offering uh, short courses and modular courses for residents in Haukang, residents in Tampines and East, as well as Tampines in the North and Woodlands. So for those who want to learn about diploma, advanced diploma, you can either at the city, city campus at the Kete because it's centralized. Many workers, PMAT, right? professional managers, you, you work around the CBD area. So this will be the ideal locations. And uh, of course, the JAM campus. We also try as much as possible to have our courses online and on-site. Good news for you is that our professional diploma in digital marketing, you can learn anywhere in Singapore because this is an online courses. Online means you see your lectures online using a Zoom system. You log into our learning management system for knowledge learning through our e-learning platform. I'll share more later. Fish for talents, right? Like I said, TVI not only take care of the training and development through our higher education courses, Fish for Talents offer services include the following. Career interview coaching. What you learn, you also want to learn about how am I going to present myself to the choice of employer to get myself a good job, land into the good job. Uh, we train you, right? We coach you what kind of uh, presentation you should be giving during your interview. Uh, we also help to do job search. Basically, Fish for Talent is a licensed MOM recruitment agency. They are the recruitment agency like the headhunters. They will headhunt uh, uh, employee and place them into the choice of employer. They have this kind of services. Career assessment. Assess you whether you're suitable for the careers or not. Matching you with the choice of an employer and their offers. Talent search and profiling, very important. You need to know your strengths. So we also offer talent profiling. So assess you through the talent profiling and know which level of uh, uh, competency are you at then matching with some of our courses and build you for the next, uh, the next career journey. Every year we have successful uh, higher education learner who have graduated from our diploma, advanced diploma and degree. So I just want to take a short moment of this video to walk you through our 2019 uh, graduation ceremony. And you turn toward me and look so weak. I've never seen you with such tired eyes. And everything we said we'd be, we just traded for a suit coat and a tie. They 
back and take your socks and shoes right off That natural light is so damn polite Can make you feel just like you were young Again Standing underneath the rows of trees I can see where the ocean meets the sky Under our clothes, a fire grows We are ready for this life of running wild Underneath the rows of trees I will see you where the ocean meets the sky Under your toes, the fire grows You are ready for a different kind of life Shine and fall, the wind is cold, you must return to the wild. I was one of the graduates in 2019, uh, 140 of them, uh, all PMEX. So last year, we have 235, despite the COVID, uh, still a lot of PMEX are very aggressively wanted to build themselves and proven themselves. Uh, we have 235, and unfortunately, last year, we can't have a face-to-face -face graduate ceremony. But I have promised to them that this year, in the year of 2021, they should join force together with the graduate from the year of 2021 and make an even more grand and more bigger graduation ceremony at the Lifelong Learning Institute. Right? You will be one of them if you start your journey with us uh, in this year of 2021. I'm sure I'm not the main actors and uh, the, 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 I mean the grand finale for the whole event uh, 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 this afternoon. Uh, we, to, together with me, uh, I also have our trainer, a special guest who join us to share his uh, experience on social media marketing. So uh, I will keep here and, and let uh, our trainer to introduce himself right, and, and carry on from there. Uh, let's put our hands together and welcome uh, Malcolm. Malcolm. You want to go under the edge? Yeah. Which one is easier? Hello everyone, so my name is Malcolm. Uh, let me try to stand here so we can be a balance, uh, okay? Okay, so uh, hopefully I don't disappoint you guys in terms of the poster and the real person. Uh, okay, so a little bit more about myself, okay? Uh, and uh, at the same time, I also want to let you know how I usually run uh, my trainings and stuff like that. So I like things to be a little bit more interactive. So throughout my presentation over the maybe next half an hour or 45 minutes or so, uh, there's three things that I really want you guys to do together with me, okay? So number one thing is be, be curious, okay? So what do I mean by be curious, okay? So as a digital marketer or as a marketer, we must always be curious. So we need to ask ourselves, okay, like why are people reacting in a certain way? Why do people behave in a certain manner? If I run these ads, how come this ad is not performing? Okay, if I run this uh, other uh, ad, how come this ad is doing much better? Okay, if I run a certain campaign, who are the people that I'm targeting? So you need to be curious. You must be able to ask questions.
Okay, so that's the first B that I really hope you guys can be. The second B, okay, is I hope that you guys can be bold. Okay, so what do we mean by be bold? Okay, so when I ask a question, I do hope that you guys can provide answers as well. Uh, and this is also the same thing with my classes. Also. So to me, there's no wrong answer. If we ask a, if we answer something and we didn't get it correct, at least we learn from it. Okay, but if you don't answer it, then forever we feel very constipated and we're not sure. Okay, I, I learned a lot from mistakes as well. And I think that mistakes are a really good way to learn. So there's really no mistakes in class. I always see it as a learning journey. So, okay, answer questions. Okay, and the last one is uh, be willing. Okay, and what do I mean by be willing? Okay, uh, for digital marketing or marketing in general, it is a discipline that we never know until we step forward. It's a discipline that we only know when we start doing certain things. Even until today, okay, I am an expert, but I'm not Google, okay? I, I don't know everything, okay? A lot of times, only until I run a certain campaign, I test things out, then I realize that, oh, this is how things work, okay? So, be willing, take action. Okay, so these are the three Bs I really hope you guys can do together with me and I hope that uh, throughout the next uh, few moments or so to take note of all this. So be curious, be bold, and be willing. Okay, so that's my three rules for my next uh, part of the sharing. So a little bit more about myself, okay? So um, I started my career a little bit different from most people, okay? A lot of people think, oh, Malcolm probably a uh, fresh uni grad, went into marketing, you know, and then his career went off from there, okay? But no, that's not the way, okay? I went through the Bori route, okay? I finished my diploma in hospitality and tourism management. After my serving my two years of NS, I was wondering what I want to do with my life, okay? I totally no clue, okay? Like most youngsters uh, nowadays, okay? But I'm not so young nowadays. So I, I, I went back into the hotel industry, did a variety of work, okay? In the hotel industry, I did HR, I did sales, I did operations, okay? So I spent about five years, the first five years of my career doing just that. But one day, okay, while I was uh, doing my work, I realized my colleagues in the PR department, okay, it was six o'clock and then they were started to dress up and then they were like, uh, you know, looking nice, putting on makeups and stuff. So I asked them, I said, hey, hey, uh, where are you going for a date tonight? They said, no, 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 Malcolm, we are not, we are not go going for a date, we are going for work. I said, what, going for work? What do you mean going for work? You're dressing up so nice and you know, all like, the uh, rest of the day, you're wearing sandals, walking around in the office. I said, oh, we're going to hold some media, okay? And that was when I realized that, wow, you know, you can actually have a job hosting media and get someone to talk about your brand. Isn't that good? Because you don't need to do all the work yourself, right? Okay? So that was where my interest in media, in publications, in communication start coming about. So I went on to do my uh, part-time uh, degree in communications. So that four years, and that was the time where about 10 years ago, where the digital transformation started to happen. So as I was going through my course, having a full-time job, I realized that in order for me, okay, to move forward, in order for me to be ahead of the curve, okay, because I spent, uh, to me, I feel, spend, I feel like I spent a few years behind my peers because I didn't know what I want to do, okay? So I thought I said, I must be reading, I must be able to take action. So what did I do? I started to do blogging, okay? So I went to blogging and I had quite relatively successful. I have clients such as Royal Brunei Airlines, Tourism Malaysia. I was invited to Italian wine festivals in Singapore, okay, and so on. And that helps me to build up my portfolio. And when I went for a job interview, I just sent them, I just showed them my website, okay, and that's how I kind of get started into marketing. So I started first uh, in terms of uh, F&B marketing. If you have heard of this brand called Ramen Champion, they have a branch in Boogie's Plus. That's really how I got started, uh, and they have other brands as well. And I was managing about at one more uh, at one point, I have about ten brands under my care. And then I realized that my passion is really in the hospitality industry. And I went back to the hotel as a marketing manager. And because I was doing a very good job, then I got promoted to become a partnerships and loyalty program manager. And eventually, I got headhunted and I become a senior regional manager. And that was before I decided to leave the corporate world and where I am today. So the reason why I'm telling you this is not because I'm trying to brag to you or whatsoever. But the reason why I'm telling you this is to tell you that I could achieve this result because of digital marketing, because I was able to prove to my boss, okay, that I was able to help the company bring certain uh, revenues. I was able to help the company grow 
in terms of qualified leads and so on. So I'm someone who is very passionate about digital marketing because I feel that that is one very good way where you can show people your results. If you are someone who is very keen in this particular area, this is one big uh, area of growth right now in the world. Okay, enough about me, okay? I'll talk a little bit about social media. Okay, so I have uh, three options for you all, okay? What do you think social media is, okay? So the first one is that, do you think that social media is more like a, a broadcast? Okay, in other words, it's like a one-way communication. Okay, or do you think social media is like a conversation? Okay, where you have a two-way communication. Or the third option, okay, social media is kind of like a marketplace, okay, where you have uh, multiple communication. Okay, one, two, or three. Who thinks it's number one? There's no right or wrong. Who thinks it's number one? Number two? No? Number three? Okay, but, okay, it's great that uh, most of you can identify as number three. But how come sometimes we know, okay, mentally, but the way that we react on the social media channel, okay, is very different from our behavior of what we think it is, okay? So what do I mean? A lot of times, we just post something, okay? And the way we say it, it's kind of like a broadcast. It's like, hey guys, you know, I have uh, this new product, come and try, okay? So that's really a way, one way thing, right? You're just shouting out to everyone, okay? What would be a better way for us to pursue it? Okay, so instead of saying that, hey guys, I have a new product, okay? Hey guys, I have a new product. What do you think about it, right? Then it became a conversation, okay? Correct or not? So first one, okay, I repeat again. Hey guys, I have a new product, come and try it. That's one way, right? I'm just telling you, okay? Second way is that, okay, what do you think? I'm asking you for your feedback. And the third way, okay? Hey guys, I have a new product. After you try it, can you send me some photos so that I can share with other people? Okay, so that is the third way of how we should be communicating. So take note that we know, okay, we all know that social media is all about well, having a lot of people, okay? But the social media is all about the power of we, okay? The collective power, okay? If today I am just a brand, okay? I post something there, that's good, okay? Maybe I have budget, I can blast it out to more people. But would it be better if all of you, okay, are my customer and all of you share and maybe all of you have 100 friends, right? So you, I multiply. Isn't it better that I just only myself where I reach out to my 1,000 uh, friends on the Facebook? So to take note that uh, when you're looking at social media, okay, there's a few things that you can create, okay? I want you to be familiar with this term called uh, UGC, okay, which stands for User Generated Content. Okay, so what are user generated content? You probably are doing it, okay, unknowingly and you do, are not aware about it. Have you ever used a hashtag before? Okay, maybe on Instagram, you hashtag, you know, uh, maybe, I don't know, I'm a cat lover, I always hashtag about cats, okay? So, hashtags is one way. Okay, that we can do UGC, okay? So, you as a brand, okay, if that's it today, you're managing uh, a company's uh, marketing, or if today, you are having your own business, okay? How can you do that? Can you create a hashtag that every time when people... Uh, buy something, okay, get them to use the hashtag and make sure the hashtag is not something that is very unique to you because if it's too unique, it cannot be found, okay? So I make sure that it's not too unique. Okay, what do I mean by this, okay? I have a friend, okay, true story. She sell 
mi jiang kui. Okay, you know what's mi jiang kui? Like a pancake, okay, that we eat for breakfast, right? Mi jiang kui. So she has this mi jiang kui SG hashtag, which has probably less than 50 people knowing about it. Okay, so the chances of people searching for this mi jiang kui SG is quite low. What I would do is, I would say that, okay, you could use uh, breakfast SG, okay, as a hashtag. Okay, then people will be able to see your products more. Okay, so do remember that when you use hashtag, don't make it too uh, unique. Okay, the other way around that you can create user-generated con uh, content is to have contests. Okay, so get people, tell people that, hey, you can win something. This month, maybe you are giving away certain things. Okay, do use our hashtag. So you can use in conjunction together. Okay, share more with your friends. Okay, what you we trying to get is to get more shares. Okay, you want people to share more about you, right? Okay, but what are you actually eventually trying to do? Is that you are trying to build advocates. Okay, so this is a, a key word, okay, advocates. You want people who like your product. You want people who tell other people about your product. In other words, you want the modern day Word of mouth referral. Hey, why? Because this is very important, right? Nowadays, everyone is blasting things on social media. But end of the day, before you even go to Google, what's the first thing you do? Probably you WhatsApp your best friend, right? And say, hey, I heard that you are going to study. Okay, uh, which school should I go to? You know, I heard TVI not bad. Uh, you studied there before, right? So your friend will, tr you trust your friend more than before you trust Google, right? Okay, so it's important for us to build our advocates first before we even get started, okay? So that is how we kind of get started. And I want to uh, mention that these days, we are talking about um, advocacy marketing rather than just, uh, it's not the same as influencer. Okay, influencers are good. Maybe you engage someone on Instagram, maybe you engage someone on blogs and so on. Maybe they write about your articles, okay? Be it whether today is it a paid one or it's a non-paid one. You can see now, can I? Okay. Then at the end of the day, um, this is kind of once off, okay? Well, this is kind of lifelong. So building that relationship is very important. Having a good product is very important, okay? So that is a, a general overview, okay? I just want us to set in the right framework first before I even go on further, okay? So social media, okay? I summarize again. It's like a marketplace. We want to, con uh, we want to make sure that we get people to talk about us. Okay, and not just we talking about ourselves. Okay, so what are the common types of social media platforms? Okay, uh, I won't go into details. I say, okay, we have Facebook, uh, Instagram, or whatsoever. I want to share with you like the different types. Okay, and sometimes uh, certain platform they have different of these functions as well. Okay, so the very first type are maybe those that we are very familiar with. Okay, social networks. Okay. What do we do for social networks? We go there to make friends. Okay, we go there to make friends. Okay, so those are social networks or connections. Okay, so two very good examples I have is one is Facebook, we go there, you know, we connect with our friends, or LinkedIn, we go there to make professional connections. So that's on social networking. Okay, the other type that you have is social news. Okay, people going there to consume news. Okay. Uh, this is Reddit. Reddit is one of the channels, but also, of course, on Facebook, on LinkedIn as well. Sometimes people go there to read articles also. Okay, so this is social news. Okay, and this is also another way for you to push out your content. Okay, maybe I'm not so good at writing, or maybe I no time to maintain a blog anymore. Can I maybe go to uh, Mothership, submit an article? Can I maybe go to uh, Goody, feed, uh, Goody News or whatever to submit an article? Okay, so those are social news. And these news are usually quite viral in content, sometimes a lot more lighthearted. Okay, so you can do that. Uh, I remember during my time in Ramen Champion, I uh, actually contributed articles as well. So that's one good way for you to quickly uh, spread the words without having to just rely on your own channel. There's also media sharing. Okay, media sharing usually are uh, perhaps uh, videos or even images as well. So images one could be maybe Pinterest. Pinterest is one where uh, people actually bookmark all the different images. The ones that we are a lot more familiar with are YouTube or Instagram. Okay, so we will go there, upload videos, upload media content for sharing. 
There's also micro blogging or blogging. People go there, maybe they write about certain uh, little things. So uh, example we have here will be Twitter. Okay, there's also Tumblr. Uh, even on Facebook and LinkedIn, people do that as well. So it's good to know the different kind of functions. And uh, number five, we have our forums. Forums are very powerful, okay? So this is Quora. Quora is kind of like a, a functions. Uh, people go there, ask questions, and people engage each other. In fact, for Quora, you can actually Google certain questions that may be relating to your topic and check how many people are following, okay, on this particular topic. And then you can always post in there, okay, what you think about it with a link, okay, to your website. In a very subtle form. Later, I'll teach you how do you craft a copywriting. Okay, that things that is subtle, okay, that you're not just a one-way broadcast. You're creating a conversation, you're trying to engage more people, okay? And lastly, you have social review sites like TripAdvisor, for example. Okay, so, so those are generally, okay, the different platforms or different functions, okay? So over here, I'm not sure if you all can see, I'm just going to write it out again. Okay, there are also different types of media, okay, that we can create. Okay, so there's earned media, paid media, a me oh, sorry, paid media, a media, shared media, and own media. So what is it? Okay. Uh in the past, traditionally we always look at above the line and below the line when we talk about marketing. Above the line, our main kind of broadcast, okay. It could be newspaper, it could be radio, it could be television. So those are above the line kind of communication. And below the line last time we talk about maybe things like flyers, coupons, and so on. But then we've the um, digital marketing coming together, we kind of merge everything together, but we, we look again, okay, at the different types of media, okay? So I'll start with uh, paid media, okay? So what's paid media? Paid media is our modern day advertising, okay? Be it today you pay uh, through uh, Google display networks or be it today that you pay for uh, Facebook ads, all these are considered as paid media, okay? Courtesy of paid media is that it has a higher reach because you are paying for it. You have more control, okay, over what you want to say, okay. The other thing is uh, over here you have, you have a uh, own media. Own media are something that we've been doing quite often, okay. Things that we post, okay. So for own media, you definitely have a lot more content. Uh, you don't need to pay a lot of money for it, okay. But the downside is that sometimes you may not get as much exposure as you need to. Shared media is what I have covered earlier, okay. Could you maybe create maybe user-generated content that people start sharing for you? Could you get people to uh, uh, help you, okay? Uh, maybe for influencers to write more about you. And then we also have uh, a media, okay, which consists of reviews, okay, and referrals, okay? So these four areas are very important for those of us who maybe already are doing some form of marketing or another. Okay, so after we understand the overall landscape, okay, then what would be the thing that it should be our objective? Okay, remember I told you that I grow quite quickly in my career because at the end of the day, I was able to quantify to my boss what exactly am I doing, okay? Because I told my boss, I said that marketing shouldn't be just about exposure anymore, okay? In the past, marketing is about publicity, okay? In the past, marketing is about letting people know about you. But I told my boss, I said, no, 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 let's, let's just go with the new standard of marketing, okay? Marketing should be results driven, okay, backed by data. Okay, and what do we mean by results driven? Results driven not just in terms of how many more likes on my page, okay? But results driven is how many people maybe send us an inquiry, okay, to find out more about our product. Okay, I told her, I said I'm not a salesperson, okay? I'm not going to drive the sales for you, but at least I'm going to drive more inquiries for you, okay? Then your sales people will close it, okay? Because I don't like to do sales, okay? So I said, okay, good, okay? So by that, I mean by a lead, okay? How do we increase inquiry? But then, of course, I'll tell my boss, i say that, okay, before we commit to anything, let me just guide you through, okay? On these three, okay, different factors, okay? There's always 
cheap, good, and fast. Okay, if you want things cheap, okay, and good, it will be slow. Okay, maybe I create a certain campaign, people start sharing, it's gonna take a while. Okay, generally, maybe it takes about a month. Okay, if you want cheap and fast, okay, also can, okay, but you need to pay money for it. Okay, so good and fast, you have to pay money for it. If it's cheap and fast, then probably you don't get it. Okay, so I say that if you want all three, then not possible unless you increase the budget for me. So how do we go about doing that? Okay, there are two ways I'll show you. One way is a more manual method. One way is a more automated method. Okay, so this is a, a real life uh, lead that I have that someone sent to me, okay? So uh, I'll just summarize it. It's a little bit wordy. Basically, one day uh, I received someone, so I have two cats, by the way. So one day I received a message, okay? Someone messaged me and say, hey, okay, uh, do you want, do you need help, okay? To uh, install, uh, a shelf, okay, or a door for your cat so your cat can come in and out and it won't disturb you because you're all working from home, right? Okay, so they send me some information and so on, okay? So this guy sent it to me and I'm interested because I'm an interested person, okay? So I'll break down for you how it eventually get to me and why do I pay for it, okay? These days, the fun thing about marketing is that every time when I pay for something, I will try to work backwards and think about why did I decide to buy this thing? And how can I learn such that next time I can use this method to sell to other people? So I messaged this guy, by the way, his name is Jason, okay? So I said, hey, okay, uh, I'm very interested, okay? I will uh, engage you for your service, okay? But before I pay you money, I want to find out how many people do you send this message to, uh, okay? And how do you find out about me, okay? Because this is a very random message. Don't you want to know? Okay, I want to know, okay? So I said, oh, okay, okay. So uh, I tell you what, uh, Malcolm, I want to join all the different cats uh, and all the dogs uh, all the pets group, okay? Then after that, I see uh, who uh, I have not messaged yet. Then I will copy and paste. I say, wow, you're very hardworking. Eh? So I say, how many messages do you send before you get a response? You say, I send about 100. I get about 10 who talk to me. And out of 10, usually I will manage to close one or two. Okay, so this is how you calculate your ROI. Okay, your return on investment. Okay, very important. Huh? Okay, return on investment, okay, or return on resources, okay, doesn't mean that it's just on uh, uh, money, okay, sometimes it's timing also, right? Okay, so I'll break down for you, okay, 100, okay, uh, cent, okay. 10 replies, okay, 1 to 2, close, okay, or, or buy, huh? okay, so if you break it down, so it's about a 1%, okay, return on, in, in, uh, on investment, and that's actually quite high, Okay, 1% in the digital world is considered our normal industrial average, okay? But I wish, okay, I wish Jason know another method, okay, that is more automated. I think this is good, but it's very hard working, okay? I really salute him that he did that, okay? So what I would do, okay, if I'm Jason, is that I will go to either Facebook or any other type, okay, of marketing platform, okay? And then I'll look at the campaign objective, okay? Not all marketing objectives are the same, okay? Some are just purely for us to create more awareness, okay? Some maybe uh, for us to generate, okay, more website traffic, okay? But what I'm really interested in is how can I increase these two things over here, the number of replies and the number of purchase, okay? So let me, let, let's see, okay? So out of uh, nine of these, okay, goals, okay, which are the one or two do you think uh, are the ones that actually help me, okay, to get more people to send me messages or inquiries? Anyone? Is it, okay, I'll go, go around, okay, those of you who think it is, you'll just raise your hand and then just, then we have a show of hand, okay? So, uh, okay, this one is uh, not counted, okay? So many think that uh, more website visitors, okay, will help to generate my, my inquiries. Okay, not really, okay, a few, okay, one. Uh, if I boost my post, okay, that means I write something, okay, a few. Uh, if I, okay, these two about the same. If I get more leads, okay, a little bit more, okay. Uh, boost an event, okay, not so much. Uh, get more messages, 
Okay, a few. Uh, promote your page. Okay, interesting. Uh, okay, promote your page locally. Okay, all right. I think some of you kind of get it, okay? But it can be quite confusing because there are many, many different objectives, right? Okay, uh, today I'm just going to summarize for you, okay? The, the best way, okay, or the best objective that you should go for will be either get more leads or get more messages, okay? Get more messages, people will start messaging you, okay? Uh, and this one also happens in LinkedIn and or other platforms also, uh, like Instagram, or get more... Come on, leaks, people actually fill out a form giving you their number and also their contact details. Probably that's also how some of you guys got to know more about this event. So if you use this method, get more leads or get more messengers. Okay, let me just write down. Okay, so these are the two that you should really be taking note of, okay? That will really help you, okay, uh, to get actually more people to inquire about your businesses, okay? Okay, let some of you take photo first. Okay, other ways, okay, that you can uh, help to get more inquiries or stuff, okay, without spending too much time or money, okay? Uh, one of them, okay, is to join uh, various Facebook group. Okay, but don't just join there, okay? Join there, maybe you want to post one or two times, get people to know you first. Then after that, you can introduce yourself and say, hey, uh, I am doing uh, so-and-so thing, okay? Or, or rather, you bring yourself as an industry expert, okay? Don't go in there and sell products, okay? Like, for example, if let's say I have a cat grooming business, okay? That means I my business groom uh, pets, for example. Don't go in there and say, hey, I'm a... A pet groomer, okay? Anybody want to engage me for your service? Okay? People don't like it. Okay? Remember our very beginning? We are trying to not just broadcast, right? Okay? Uh, if we had create a conversation, not too bad. Okay? But we want to make sure that people actually uh, start talking more about stuff, right? Okay? So go in there, okay? And say that, hey, uh, I am uh, an expert, okay, in terms of animal, okay? My services is to groom pets, okay? Do you guys have any questions, okay? that you face, okay, when you bring your pets for grooming, okay, then people will start commenting, okay, people will start asking the question, then you answer the question, because what we're trying to do is, we want to brand ourselves as like a subject matter expert, okay, and through that, you get to know them better, then maybe through like one or two comments, then you say, hey, is it okay if I send you more information about my products and services? And usually people are okay, because you by then already provide certain time of value for them, okay? I want you all to remember these two things. Okay, a lot of people will say that uh, on social media, content is king. Okay, so we provide good in engaging videos whatsoever. Those are content. Okay, content is very important. I, I also agree. But we cannot just have any type of content, right? Because nowadays, everybody knows how to produce videos and, or photos and so on. Okay, value is queen. Okay, we want to be brand as like certain expert level, okay? So people will see that hey, there's certain value in engaging you. Because after all, I may not be the only pet groomer around in Singapore, right? Definitely not, okay? But I could be brand as an a, a expert in uh, pets and people may need to know more, okay? About grooming methods and so on. So to take note of this, okay? And all the day, like I say, is we need to try to create a conversation or even better, okay? People to uh, get other people to talk about you, okay? The other... Uh, web method, okay, like I mentioned slightly earlier, is to go to uh, Quora. Okay, Quora is uh, like a forum. Okay, normally people will ask certain questions there, okay? So again, go in there, okay, and try to answer certain questions, okay? Then very subtly tell people, okay, for example, um, maybe uh, why, why is the best time, okay, for me to um, what's the best time for me to bring my, my, my dogs for grooming, for example? Okay, some people may be asked that, that question. So you're going to the forum track, and usually under Quora, uh, there you can check how many people are following. 
Okay, so you can check the following. Okay, maybe this particular question has 1,000 people following. So if you reply to it, this 1,000 people will receive an email and say, hey, so-and-so has replied to this thread. Okay, and this is the answer. Okay, so you can go in there, you can answer it, okay, sincerely, okay, and then you could always put your link there and say that, okay, if you are really keen to understand more, uh, you can go to my website for more information. I have written an article about it, for example. So this is how you make use of content and value, okay, to reach out to people, okay. So these are two other very good platforms, okay, for us to use, okay, uh, to reach out to people, okay, without spending too much money or timing. Okay, uh... I just want to touch on this last part before we do a little bit of hands-on activity. Okay, remember earlier on I said that uh, in social media, content is king, okay, and uh, value is queen, right, okay? So then how do we create content, okay? So everything in life, there is a formula, okay? Just like today, I want to learn how to cycle a bicycle, right, okay? There's certain things I need to take note of, you know, like maybe step one, you know, I just use four wheels first. After that, I use maybe three wheels, remove the, the thing, then try to balance myself and so on, okay? So everything, there is a formula, okay? So the formula is A, I, D, A, okay, O, R, okay? So A stands for attention. Interest. Okay. So A stands for attention. Okay. So how do we gather people's attention? Normally we can do that. Okay. Number one by asking questions. Okay, or giving facts. Okay, so later on, we will have a little activity where we'll do together. Okay, then we pretend that we are trying to promote something. Okay, and then we'll make use of this method uh, together. Okay, I need you guys to give me some contribution as well. Okay, number two, okay, is on interest. Okay, so we need to ask ourselves what interests uh, people, okay? Basically, we want to answer the how, Okay, and the why. Okay, how are people using this product? Okay, why are people using this product? Okay, then next, okay, we want to have the generate the desire. Okay, so this is where people started asking questions, uh, started answering you. Okay, okay, and action. Okay, this is where they started to think about how to buy. Okay, then onboarding is how do we use this product. Okay, retention, usually this is where we tell them that, hey, uh, you know, do you want to repeat your purchase? Okay, or can you refer someone to us? Okay, so this is a general thing. Okay, so uh, this is the formula. Oh, you guys managed to take some photos ready. Okay, so let's just pretend, okay, that today that we all, okay, work for this company that sells uh, avocados. Okay, you know what avocado is, right? Okay, so what do you think is the very first step that I need to think about when I sell avocado? Do I uh, quickly look at my product? Do you think uh, I should look at my product first? Like, what can I do with my avocado? Okay, very good. Uh, what other things do you think I can uh, do as a first step before I start anything? Okay, so there are a few ways we can go about doing that, okay? The first thing, of course, is that we can start being creative, right? We can look at what other people are doing, okay, in terms of all the different products and services, okay? But a better way to really get started, okay, is to ask the who, what, where, when, why, how, okay? Who, okay, do we want to target, okay? Avocado can mean different things to different people, you know, okay? Maybe some people, they just eat it raw, okay, as a health benefit. Okay, but if you target youngster, maybe they're very into what avocado toast. Okay, I love avocado smoothie. Okay, so if you try to sell me avocado but in the raw form, I don't like. Okay, you sell me avocado to me, I love it. Okay, so who exactly you want to target? Okay, what 
are their behaviors, okay? Are they people like me, busy at executive, okay? I have a blender at home, okay? But I don't mind going to uh, Liho and buy a $7 avocado because I prefer the convenience, okay? But my mom, okay, she would rather at home cut out the avocado. So you must know who you're talking to and what is their behavior, okay? That is very important, okay? So why? Why do they want it? Is it for health benefit or do they just like the taste, okay? Some people don't like the taste, right? To me, I just like it, okay? It's quite nice to drink, okay? And, and how, okay? How do I get it, okay? Do I get it from the supermarket? Do I get it from maybe a, a retail shop, okay? Like a, a bubble tea shop, okay? How and where, okay? And when, okay? When do I get it, okay? For me, usually I get it after a long day at work, okay? So you want to understand all these questions first, gather down and write down, okay? That's how you kind of create your buyer persona, okay? So then with all these questions, already then you can start drafting okay all this kind of thing okay like for example okay uh let's say i want to target okay on uh, executive okay who are into health then instead of just selling the avocado okay i can talk about avocado smoothie okay and maybe i can sell them in terms of a package together right okay i can also give them like a little blender that they can use okay that they can use in terms of the avocado and then i can upsell them okay so i could say i can start off Okay, with your attention, okay? So I can maybe ask them, you know, do you know that avocado has this kind of benefits? Okay, maybe they can help uh, lower cholesterol and so on. Okay, start off with your uh, uh, attention first, okay? Uh, and then after that, gather their interest, okay? Uh, this month, okay, we're having a special, okay, kind of promotion or special deal, okay? Where we, if you purchase our blender, okay? Or we purchase our avocado, okay? This monthly supply of avocado, we give you a free blender. Okay, so catch up people's intention, okay, especially when you talk about free things and so on. Okay, so say, okay, now this, this promotion is only minted, okay, to our first 1,000 customer, one first 100 customer. So you gather their desire, okay. Then action, okay. So uh, message us, okay, uh, in our few hour form, okay, if you, you want to find out more about this particular promotion, okay. Then after that, on board, that means you already sell it to them already, right? Okay, so send it to them, maybe tell them how do they use, uh, send them a recipe, okay, all right, five different ways you can create your own avocado smoothie or so on, okay. Then lastly, retention, okay, maybe follow up with them one month later and say, hey, uh, so and so, okay, you have used our uh, avocado machine, okay, so how do you feel about it, okay. Uh, by the way, okay, we also have a promotion code, okay, if you want to buy one more for a friend or if you want to refer a friend, you can do so also. So this how you bring people through this whole process, okay, of uh, uh, the uh, creation of the content, okay? So first of all, you start off with understanding, okay, really who, okay, you want to target first. With all this information in mind, then you start to draft out the thing and before you create your killer content, okay? Because a lot of times people just think about avocado as just avocado itself, okay? But that top process is very important, right? So I just want to, uh, conclude, okay, what are some of the things that we learn, okay, from my presentation? Okay, so number one, okay, social media is a two-way communication, as you all know, okay? So, and we don't just have it in our head, but we need to know what are the actions that we can take, okay? Maybe create content, maybe become a subject matter expert, okay? There are different platforms, medias, and tools that we can use, and they are not all the same, okay? Even within Facebook itself, there are many, many different functions, okay? So do explore them, okay? Don't just stick to just posting something. Maybe check out Facebook group, check out Facebook advertising, for example, okay? Uh, having a goal, okay? Marketing goal is important, okay? Like out of the different goals that we have, we must know what kind of goals that we want to do, okay? Automation is awesome, okay? Remember, I told you that there's this guy who go around messaging everybody, okay? But if he can know how to do the advertising itself, then he's being more efficient, okay? Don't have to spend all those time, okay, on generating the leads, okay? And lastly, okay, remember the IDA model, okay? How do you create uh, attention, in uh, interest, desire, and action, okay? Okay, so uh, that's the end of my sharing, okay? It's a bit short sharing, okay? But uh, of course, if you guys are more interested, I would invite back Kevin. Okay, to share with you more about uh, the program and what are some things you can expect more, okay, to find out about this uh, whole program. Okay, yes, welcome back. Me. 
before uh, Malcolm handing back to me, uh, any questions for Malcolm? Oh, we yes, will. please. So guys, uh, some good points that I didn't take up. Uh, are you using my phone? 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 Okay, uh, that is one by Facebook. Okay, if I'm not wrong, it works very yes, mm -hmm. correct. Yeah, so that one is quite a popular uh, internal communication tool. Uh, some people use uh, Salesforce, and Salesforce also have an internal uh, communication function as well for chat and so on. Uh, perhaps you want to understand more uh, what are you doing with the internal communication. You just to facilitate the day-to-day uh, activities, okay, or are you all doing something a little bit more? So, uh, I think uh, Workplace is, seems to be the current uh, app that's leading. Yeah. Um, for some strange reason, I think that the internal communication, I follow Facebook and I do see a lot of user generated um, participation, but internally. I'm not sure whether because you know within the organization everyone knows everyone else. So the users seem to be very shy in terms of, you can see likes, but you will hardly see posts and comments. Mm. Um, is, is that normal? Okay. Uh, is there any way to overcome that? Okay. Uh, do you guys have any form of uh, incentives that you guys run? Um, we are running some contests, uh, but it will be the usual few that you will see that will buy it. Okay, very good. Okay, so what I will do is, uh, there are a few ways. Okay, number one is that we can do maybe uh, different departments that can have different champions. Okay, because some people are really very shy. Okay, it's just not their nature. Uh, most of us, we are viewers. Okay, not so much on like content creators or posting and so on. So there are definitely a few. So you maybe you want to target on these few uh, so-called champions, okay, then maybe get the department to feedback through him. Okay, that's one method. Okay, that method, like I say, is to kind of incentivize, okay, people to uh, go and post maybe through contests and so on. Uh, third way, of course, is that you can, uh, not, that's not a very good way in the sense where you get the supervisor to kind of encourage the different teams to do so. But again, it depends on the different supervisors. Some supervisors tend to be a bit more uh, accepting, okay. They so, say, yeah, they understand the whole purpose to be able to uh, get people to uh, be more uh, grounded together, okay. But some supervisors say, ah, oh, it's not my job, and so on. So, that takes a lot of work in terms of uh, uh, talking to those supervisors that how they understand the organization culture. I've done internal comms before, so I get where you're coming from. Uh, and yes, sometimes it could be a bit difficult, okay. Uh, what I would do is for internal comms, normally I could also do like an offline method. Maybe I get them to do an anonymous collection of the information or stories or best practices. Then I post it on their behalf. Then I just write off that as whoever is a contributor and attribute to them. That's also another way that I would do it. Okay. Uh, thank you, Malcolm. There are questions from the build room as well as the live screening audience. Just uh, let me read out the question. Malcolm can help us to answer that as well. Uh, a question from the build room audience is, how does the copyright on the media to fit in the ad or campaign? How does the coffee copywriting copyright fit into the media? Okay, uh, okay. So first of all, we need to understand that different media channels have uh, different types of audience that we are targeting. Okay, so I just uh, bring you through the the few major ones. Okay. So Facebook, okay, in general, we are reaching out to people um, between 30 to 45 years old. So maybe the posts are somewhat a little bit more uh, semi-serious. Uh, maybe it can be a bit lengthy, okay. Uh, whereas on Instagram, okay, it's a platform where it's very visual. So I want to focus more on the image itself, okay. And of course, for TikTok, it's a very fun platform where perhaps you just want to make it very casual, okay. So all different platforms we need to understand the nature of the platform, who are we reaching out to, I think that's important. Yeah. There's one more question from the live screening uh, audience. 
what automated mechanism would you suggest for post-sale supports, uh, especially in the case of health products when we want to be on uh, contact with clients? Um, I will say that uh, try going on, uh, there, there are a few ways that we can do so. Uh, the, the most common method is definitely through email marketing. Okay, so that's one way. Uh, if let's say the uh, uh, the company itself has certain apps that you want to get people to download, that's also another way that we can reach out to people. Uh, having said that, there are also uh, certain uh, mobile apps, okay, that allow people to uh, reach out to the audience in terms of the loyalty building and generation, which uh, unfortunately right now I can't think of my head. Okay, but maybe if I can get in touch with this person, then maybe I'll fill out with more information from there. Mm. Sure. Uh, for those who have questions uh, about the social media campaign, uh, we are not going to close it. Uh, you can always drop any of our consultant the question that you need to post to. Uh, by the way, Malcolm is actually our certified trainer for uh, digital marketing courses. Uh, for those who learn with him, uh, you'll be seeing him in class. Uh, of course, for those who attend the seminar this afternoon, your question might not pop up instantly right now. You can always speak to our consultant later on. Uh, or getting the name card very important because you need to get an email of our consultant. You can write it over and we will have to consolidate that and uh, uh, pass it over to Malcolm. I think he will be more than happy to address to those. Uh, like I said, to live, to learn and to make a difference. So I'm going to take the cue back from Malcolm. Uh, let's have a round of applause for Thank Malcolm. You. Thank you very much. All right. Okay. Can see. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, for those on the live streaming, uh, I'm I'm back after Malcolm. Uh, we'll carry on for another fifteen minutes just for me to uh, share with you uh, professional diploma in digital marketing uh, and campaign strategy. Personally, I like avocado gelato. I'm not sure how many of you like to eat gelato. I'm a foodie. So I like to eat desserts and uh, pastry. I always wanting to, you know, uh, create all kind of different gelatos and, and sell it out. But how to reach out? I think this session will share about how to sell avocado. Really give me some insight about knowing who I want to sell for. For example, myself, how am I going to be attracted to eat uh, avocado gelato moving forward? Right? Let's cut it short and come here so that you know the exact value of learning with a professional out there to kind of build yourself in your next journey of life. But before even I come into the program, just to give you a snapshot of what is Stackable Education Pathway all about. So this is Stackable Education Pathway. Like I mentioned, diploma is not the terminal or the end goal of every adult learner like you, right? Diploma is the beginning. For those who have not gotten a professional diploma in digital marketing, you start with us today here as Diploma. Along the way, you have competent from here, you will stack up and do an advanced diploma, a bridging module. Then you can even get your degree. Right? What TVF does is that we have actually put across our diplomas and advanced diploma as a credit exemption for you to actually get your degree. If not, if you now go over to US, UK, or even Australia, you probably have to spend very intensively three years Right, to get yourself clear with the level six and get a bachelor uh, degree. Right, right now, uh, we have our academic team behind the scene have put a lot of effort mapping the qualification together so that the university that we partner with, they recognize the WSQ courses that you attend with TVI, uh, TVI diploma and advanced diploma. So you clear your level four and five and then you can do your level six. So in a nutshell, you cut across a lot of time Right? Being working adult, time and space is precious for you. So in 24 months, part-time, you completed the entire journey and you get your first degree in life. Right? Furthermore, this program with Cambridge College, New England of Institute Business US is an online program. So you can sit in Singapore uh, working, study and work, right? while you're getting a bachelor degree in digital marketing uh, awarded by Cambridge College. Right? Digital Marketing Institute. Right. This is our partner for our professional diploma in digital marketing and campaign strategy. Uh, let me get DMI to speak on themselves. The 
Digital Marketing Institute is the global certification body for the digital marketing industry. As the world's leading authority on digital marketing education, we work with some of the most prestigious universities to accredit their third level programs. We keep our content cutting edge and relevant through working with representatives from organizations like Google, Facebook, and Twitter, who provide us with industry insights and knowledge. This means your students learn practical and relevant skills to be successful digital marketing professionals, keeping them ahead of the game. As part of our accreditation offering, all staff and students get full access to our Power membership platform, which hosts an array of case studies, articles, webinars, toolkits, and much more from the world's leading brands, including Netflix, Coca-Cola, and Amazon. Boost enrollments by offering a dual certification that is globally recognized by the world's leading employers like IBM and Vodafone. Our alumni have learned the real employable skills to be a digital marketing professional, and our surveys report that 94% of our graduates are employed, 81% are promoted, and 53% saw increases in their salary. DMI accreditation can help your institution stand out and be the most relevant. Boost student enrollment, increase staff and student satisfaction, and lead in student employability. To find out how we can accredit your existing marketing programs, get in touch today. academic partner for digital marketing diploma program they based in Ireland but they established since 2012 one of the youngest digital marketing uh, association and bodies in Europe and US but they're growing very very fast to date they have 65,000 and continuous growing of learners and members right one of the most powerful uh, value of DMI is that they have this uh, DMI membership that can bring the East and West get together more important, the value is not about sitting in class and learn peer-to-peer -peer within Singapore, but also learn beyond Singapore. Who knows that your product tomorrow will be reaching out out of Singapore to any other country, for example, even Southeast Asia. Right? With this powerful membership, you are not alone. You are connecting with 64,999 members up there with the DMI community. They call it the DMI families. Right? Uh, DMI also uh, spread across their footprint over 180 countries with education partner like TVI in Singapore. They partner with Singapore, uh, with, with us in Singapore. So every of our Singaporean learner get in touch with DMI through TVI, right? Uh, they also have the Global Advisory Council, right? Why are these Global Advisory Council this only one that is important? Because at the end of the, the, the mind is that who is actually endorses on the curriculum of DMI? Right? Who recognizes this? So this Global Advisory Council consists of digital uh, giant company leaders, right? university and institution for excellence. They have actually grouped together under the umbrella of DMI that recognizes the DMI curriculum. Rest assured that a professional diploma in digital marketing and campaign strategy that you learn, the certification that you have gotten are recognized by the choice of employer. And yet the choice of employers actually sit inside the Global Advisory Council. Right? Who are those people? Microsoft, uh, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, these are the, the, the advisory boards member. They have endorsed that this is the good use of those uh, uh, curriculum out there and make you stay connected and be relevant while you are going out, uh, even want to create a social media right away now. The DMI memberships, right? They offer you a one-stop membership while you are attending our classes, right? You are able to assess into this three quadrium here. First thing, very exclusive content. They have extensive libraries of articles, toolkits, and even an expert interview and video presentation for you to benchmark. For example, you will be cracking your head. I say, what kind of content should I be creating to do my social media marketing? You can, in fact, come here and refer to the DMI membership in the DMI membership library itself. There are many success stories or content being created by the president member store over here. Right, for you to actually learn from. You also will get connected East and West, right? The members, not only US and Europe, also including Asia's communities, Singaporeans as well within that communities. So if you want to de develop a product and reach out to as far as US and in Europe, this membership gives you a platform to be able to ask questions, connect to those people, right? A membership or network so that you learn across the group and you see thousands and thousands of alumni through that. 
valuable, very insight, right? You hear from the subject matter expert, you hear from the digital professional through seminar, uh, webinar that DMI have actually put across for the DMI members. They know about it. So that's why they have put across this membership to address to the challenges of the customer. Who is DMI customer? You are. You are the learner. So that's why in order for you to, in order for them to look into that, they created this membership exclusively for the learners. This will be the professional diploma in digital marketing and campaign strategy. When we brought forward the DMI curriculum into Singapore, our academic team have further developed it. So we map it with the WSQ framework. By doing that, you will get the Skill Future Singapore funding when you attend a DMI courses. There's something we have to do good for you. So when you are here, you sign up a program, it's get up to 90% funding. For those who are young Singaporeans, you get up to 50%, but yet the post-secondary education account will help you to offset your unfunded portion. I'll share more, right? So this is a nine-month part-time blended learning program. Right? You need to go online. At the same time, you need to do e-learning as well. Our targeted group has to be a working adult. We don't have high school learners coming here and an O-level. So they are 25 years old. At most, at younger they are, they have at least served a government, served army, right? Work with one or two year experience before they come over here. Of course, all the way. As long as you are physically, mentally ready for the program and you meet the entry requirement, you are most welcome. Doesn't mean that, oh, Kelvin, how are, why, why is that so? You only show 45 years old, but I'm 46 this year. Am I entitled to join this program? You are most welcome, right? 25 and 45, just a benchmark for all, this, all of us to know the targeted group that we are looking at. This is the pathway for progression. Nine module, very intensive learning, study and work. You can continue working. You come and do this program part-time. It will be an evening lessons online. So you can stay anywhere in Singapore, even at, in your office, right? Open up your laptop. You can attend to the classes, uh, log into the e-learning platform, right? That doesn't restrict you as long as you are in Singapore with internet connection, right? Nine modules. So the first three module fall under the try module one. If you clear this three module and you are competent, SSG will award you the statement of attainment. We call it SOA. TVI will award you the professional certificate in digital marketing. Very important is DMI. DMI will award you a certified digital marketing associate where you can actually put into your CV and your LinkedIn and say, I am a certified CDMA learner. With that, I go out, I know what is the fundamental of digital marketing. I know how to occupy myself for search engine marketing. I know what is customer experience management, consumer behavior, right? All types of different demographic of, uh, of, of, of your customers, the profile of customer and how you manage them, right? Uh, there will be tri-module two and three, consists of six modules altogether, which you will go more in-depth into that, right? After your search engine marketing, you go into search engine optimizations, right? Organic search. This is the pay search. After you learn the pay search, you go to organic. Uh, marketing content strategy, right? You know, need to know how to write a good content, whether it's that long content, short content, what kind of content that's specifically for the target audience. You will have some hands-on activity along the way there. Social media marketing, right? Very commonly, just now, I think Malcolm has shared all different kinds of social media marketing uh, platform and forum that you can go across and promote your products and services. You'll be having it here. And we go more in-depth into try module three. You have your uh, advanced digital marketing. So part one and part two here, applied data analytics. You run so many campaigns out there, all the data that comes in, right? Data is king, right? How are you going to manage those data on hand? We also let you learn how to apply data. You need to learn how to analyze those data so that your products and services promotion will become more vividly moving forward. And last but not least, you learn about campaign management, right? Putting up an ad, doing up a very nice images using Canva, everyone else can do. But how are you going to manage the campaign well and attract people to come and buy your products and get your services? Very important. And yet, after you have completed the nine modules of learning over here, TVI will award you a professional diploma in digital marketing and campaign strategy. You will have nine statement of attainment from Skill Future Singapore SOA, and DMI will award you a certified digital marketing professional. So you have two qualifications: the CDMA, Certified Digital Marketing Associate, CDMP, Certified Digital Marketing Professional. 
You are really professional. Why? You spend 360 hours with our trainers. You compare to elsewhere. So how come school can actually graduate me in three months to six months, yet I get a diploma in digital marketing? Lesser contact hours. We put more forward, more contact hour because we want to make you be perfect in your practitioner journey. And again, BMI is also offering three exit qualification down here. For those who say, I also want to be specialized in strategic and planning, search and social and be certified by the BMI, you can opt in to the assessment of these three certifications. So in all in all, you will have a triple qualification a professional diploma in digital marketing by TVI, nine SOA from SSG, and five professional qualification awarded by DMI if you have opted into in, in these three specialist certification. So this is an overview. 360 hour, I put it into a different quadrant so you know the engagement you have. You spend 70% of your time in class Engaging with the trainers and peer, peer to peer learning, uh, trainers learning review, e learning. That's about the knowledge. Before you go into the class, you need to have your e learning. So you build the knowledge and set an expectation. When you go into the class, that's where you have start to engage with trainers and your fellow uh, peer in the class. That's where you have your scenario, your practical, try and error, and uh, create activities, right? Practicum, these are projects. You need to clear certain modules with projects. And you can't run away from assessment because you're taking the government grant. At the end of the day, they will say, are you competent for this module called the basic digital marketing fundamental? The answer is yes, because you pass the assessment. Right? So we also allocated one hour here for assessment. So in total, every module there will be 40 hours. So 360 hours for our professional diploma. And we offer it by modules here. You don't jump the module together. It's one module by another module. So nine months. One month, one module, right? Flip class. Two weeks e-learning, one week intensive learning, prepare for assessment on the last day of the lessons, right? You clear one module. Attendance, assessment, very important. I'm sure every one of the sincere learners will say, hey, I want to know my attendance requirements, right? Attendance is 100% because you are taking the funding. But I'm sure some of you will say, what about I'm feeling unwell today? I go and see a doctor. Unfortunately, there's someone passed away. I take compassionate leave, right? So attendance over here, therefore, we require you to have your 75% of your attendance in class. But however, your e-learning, you need to complete all 100% because your e-learning have given you two weeks time to complete. Like that. I mean, if I am the learner, I say, okay, I'll do that because it's only 10 hours. I'll split it across two weeks. So at least I spend one hour a night and clear those e-learning knowledge before I come into the physical classes. Right? Assessment is written assessment. In class, the delivery of the class, there are a lot of uh, group discussion. Of course, there'll be some amount of uh, lectures as well because we want to tell you the theoretical aspect, the case scenario before you come into the group discussion. Of course, we also have take home assignments so that you can get, go home and do some individual of your activity. Tomorrow, you come back and share your experiential. And last but not least, your project and your oral assessment. Right? Just to remind you that our class ratio is 1 to 25. Right? Not beyond that because we want to have our trainer to focus on you, handhold, and make you to be successful. Entry requirement. Why is that so? Because this is a higher education courses, unlike the the, the backside training, the modular that you attended with TVI previously, right? Those do not require any entry requirement. But here, we need you to have entry requirement because we are now preparing you that you want to get a degree in life. So the university will look at whether do you qualify to attend their university program or not, right? You are in level four right now. So there's entry requirements. Academic requirement, you need to be at least L level. For those who don't have L level, don't worry. I'm sure you have your diploma your O level and your work experience. So therefore, we will assess the candidate on the case-to-case -case basis. I do have learner 20 years experience in doing marketing and he's a marketing manager, but he's only having an O level. He was telling me 20 years ago, I don't need this. When I have O level, I'm fortunate enough to be hired by my boss and my boss have entrusted me for this position and running the department, managing people for 20 years. He passed and he attended the class. 
without a diploma, even an A-level, etc. Right? But English is non-negotiable. Uh. Why? Because our program is 100% in English medium. So you need to be competent in an English so that when you come into the class, you don't feel challenges, right? Listening uh, to the trainer, attempting to write something out. So we need, to, we need you to meet certain English requirement here. Therefore, over here is that you must have at least A level or O level English pass. If not, you have your workplace literacy English level six. For those who have uh, obtained your IELTS, so we look at IELTS 5.5. If you don't have the above all, but you say that I'm very competent because I work in the workforce for 15, 20 years, I can write, I can listen, I can speak, I can comprehend, TBI can offer you our uh, English admission test. Right? The English admission test is only an hour online. Right? You just need to use a laptop and a earphone, plug it in, and the test will run. You just need to listen to certain paragraph and start answering some questions. We tested you on that. And if you have meet 55 marks in the English admission test, you pass. Right? That's how it goes. This is an open assessment concept. Uh. We are not here to fail the working adults. We are here to support and offer you a solution so that you can achieve your learning journey. Very important investment, right? After you're hearing from me, hearing from Malcolm, you want to also know what is the ballpark investment for me if I want to join this professional diploma today. So this table will give you a clear illustration of the fee, right? If you are an international candidate, overseas, uh, overseas there's no SSG subsidy on them uh, because they're foreigner. So they are paying 14,389.36, including GST, application fee and the fee protection scheme. For Singaporean and PR, Singapore PR regardless of age, you are subsidized up to 50% by Skill Future Singapore on your cost fee. You're paying 8,658.84. All right, for Singaporean be below 40 years old, you are also entitled up to 50% of the subsidies on cost fee only. So the unfunded portion will be 8,658, right, that you are paying. For Singaporean age 40 years old and above, because you fall under the mid-career enhancement scheme, so they take care of you because they, they want you to come and upgrade and build yourself, right? Uh, they will offer up to 90% of uh, skill future subsidy on cost fee. You pay the lease, right? This is the unfunded portion, 2,562.54. So this is the net for unfunded portions. How do we further uh, TVI? How are we further to uh, help you to be successful in your learning journey? We implement this financial assistance in conjunction with the government agency. For international students, because there's no funding, in order for us to help the EEP, SPAS, and work permit holder in Singapore to learn, we offer them our in-house installment plan. You can ask our consultant the number of installments, right? We are given to international students. For Singapore permanent residents, by default, you get Skill Future Singapore up to 50% subsidies on your course fee. Your unfunded portion of 8,600 uh, supposedly to pay, right? TVI will offer our in-house in, in installment plan. Instead of three installments, I authorize myself today that offer to all the open house learner today that you're attending, you will, at, you will got nine installments. Nine module, nine installment. You'll be very happy. Why? We are charging you by modular. Instead of three installments in bundle, now become nine installments. So you are paying us by modular. I don't think any of the private institute out there are offering you nine installments for a program of nine modules. Right? We do know the uncertainty and you need help from us. We care about you and we offer you this. So for Singaporean 21 years old to 39 years old, by default, you get SSG up to 50% subsidies on course fee. For those who are 25 years old and above, you have your skill future credit. You can use your balance of SFC to claim for the remaining unfunded portions. Right? For those who are young Singaporeans, 21 years old to 30 years old, you have your post-secondary education account because TVI program is also an SSG WSQ courses. So they can use their post-secondary education account fund to offset the unfunded portion. I do have a learner who just came out from the army, 24 years old. He has $7,250 in his PSEA account. He can use all to offset the $8,600 
58 that he's supposed to pay, right? Unfunded portion. At the end of the day, he paid less than $1,000 for a nine months professional diploma and digital marketing courses, right? From a grab driver, he foresee himself after nine months of training, he can start to become a digital marketing executive, right? Apprentice in a company. So transform, right? Grab driver after NS, now can sit in his office, right? Do digital marketing, something that he's very passionate to do for. Yet, the less than $1,000, we still offer him the nine months, uh, nine modules uh, installment plan. So he pay about $90, right? For one module. Singaporean, 40 years old and above, 90% of subsidies, you pay 2,564. If you have skill future credit, right, you can use your skill future credit to offset the unfunded portion. And yet, the after your SFC deduction, you still have a, a, a unfunded portion that you're supposed to pay for. TVI again offer you nine installments, right? You can check with our consultant later on for more of this breakdown. So at least you can have an understanding of how we can help you to achieve your higher education goal. Simple as that. We don't want to make you feel very complicated in applying our courses. Six steps just to reach your goal to get your higher education. Fill up an application form online. There's no paper form. Uh. We are in digital transformation and yet I still ask you to fill up an application form. Paper, no. We move into paperless. 10 minutes just to fill up your particulars because we need that submit for your funding and get your courses be approved by our registrar. We need all this because we need to check on your entry requirement. Therefore, Bear with us with our consultant asks you to give them your highest education cert, your transcript, and a very concrete uh, CV, right? Tell us exactly what you have done over the 10, 20 years. We need to learn your experience so that we can then say you are the right fit learner to join this program. Application fee, supposedly $53.50 that you need to pay on a normal day. Great news, today is open house. We decided to waive off the application fee when you have completed your application, right? First of all, in order for me to waive this application fee, you need to fill up the form and give us all the relevant documents so our consultant can endorse it. You will be waived off to charge you on the 53.50. So you have a saving of $50 on that. Then our consultant will then approach you for pre-course counseling, submit your document over to our registrar office, get them endorse it. They'll issue you an acceptance letter and a contract. That's where you need to prepare for your first installment. I don't know the ballpark figure because every individual of you have a different case file altogether. Some of them pay a little bit more, some of them pay the least in the class, right? Then we'll see you uh, during the course orientation and also you enjoy your nine months course. So uh, without just me telling you the course itself and so on, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that uh, this afternoon we also have a couple of our learner, right, who have learned with us on our professional diploma in digital marketing. Uh, please allow them to share a few words, right, online with each and every one of you. Well, basically, what I do is we handle clients at the corporate level. Well, basically, what I do is we handle clients on the corporate level. It is everywhere. So, you know, wherever we go to, even where we do ground, you know, even where the muscle, you know, we account management as well. I believe that, you know, uh, marketing is everywhere. So, you know, wherever we go to, even when, if we're on the, you know, even if we're at the bus stop, you know, waiting for the MRT, there's like marketing on the billboards, etc., etc. So uh, I think it's an essential aspect of all business functions and services. So, you know, to get sales to, to grow your business, you will require marketing. And I believe the content and strategies involved in terms of uh, the marketing uh, field, uh, it's essentially very uh, important as it forms the foundation of every business goal and purpose. Mm -hmm. So, uh, which is one of the reasons why I took up marketing content strategy in, in general. Yeah. yeah, so I attended the uh, marketing content strategy and the, under the PDMCS. And uh, what I like about the course is that I like how the class is being conducted, not just a lecturer style, but also there is a practicum where we can apply a real life situation um, to the course and um, and there is also an assessment where um, I can apply to what we have learned. 
And the trainer also used uh, real life examples um, for the corporate world, which is applicable to them. I think content strategy course, which was part of the professional diploma in digital marketing and content strategy, provided me with insight for to develop better strategies and improve my overall output in delivering results. So I took marketing content strategy uh, from Training Vision Institute. Okay, so basically, uh, the lecturer is uh, okay. The trainer is uh, Serene. Then uh, I find that she's very good, very helpful in every other ways, answer every of our questions. Then uh, <clears throat> I find that I learned a lot of things from this uh, from this course. Uh. Yeah. So some of it will be like, uh, for example, how do you you know uh, sell a product, and then how do you get it you know reach to the correct target audience? Yeah, that's like one for example. Uh. Yeah, in our professional diploma and digital marketing learning journey right now. Right? So um, I'm going to move on to the next segment. Right? We love to hear from you. Right? So I just need to take maybe 5-10 minutes of your time to just bring up your mobile phone, point at this QR code, scan it and uh, give us your uh, utmost feedback and experience so that we can improve along the line. Yeah, I forgot. Just in case some of y'all can't really scan it, so I turn off the light. While you are filling up the form, uh, we also have some refreshment uh, prepared our pantry. Uh, our consultant is also on standby to support and each and every one of you who have any questions in mind that you wish to check with us. Take this great opportunity to ask as much as question possible because like I said in the very beginning, you have actually uh, 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 make up your time to really come over here. Take this moment to speak to us. Right? We will try as much as possible to address to it and help you to be a successful one with TBI.